Hello, and welcome back to Queen's Wish. Had a bit of a disaster last time with the Ashen Foundry. And then I stayed after to do a bunch of upgrades. So let's see just how much, uh, well, A, how much those upgrades are going to make a difference, and B, how much of this uh, area we're going to have to redo. Since we've already explored everything on the surface, um, and fighting isn't all that interesting. Just been clicking over and over. I think what we're gonna do... We're just gonna take out... A couple of these guys on the surface here. And jump into the building? I guess I never went into this building, did I? We can investigate that first. But this is the one that has the really big long fight. Oh. Turn to face me. Does that mean anything? We have a ways away down here. Oh, does this connect up to the same place? Maybe it does. Iron, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, this just connects up to the same, the same way down. It's interesting that the map doesn't save on this level, even though I... You've gotten close enough, the mire... Yeah. So they're all going to have respawned. But... As long as it's just these... Generic Mire Boars, I'm not going to be using any abilities at all. Outside of the Bless. Yeah, there they are. These are going down a lot faster than I remember. I don't think, like, I only built one barracks, so I have, like, plus one damage over last time I was here. I didn't upgrade my weapons at all. All I did was a bunch of armor upgrades. I don't know. I think I said I was going to take this fight more seriously. I may have lied. Um, hmm. 
Just block this Maribor from running in here in case it decides to do that. Them being bigger is actually a pretty big disadvantage. Okay, we're taking some hits. Uh, healing will be a lot more effective now, too. Heal 52, yeah. I wonder if I should be... Oh, I'm slowed. I'm actively losing haste every time I get hit by these attacks. I guess that kind of makes sense. Well, fortunately, he can haste himself. Or I could just use my priest again. My AoE is a lot less effective. Uh, you hear deep enraged roars, they echo to, to you through the tunnel, making the stone vibrate. Massive hooves are thundering down the corridor towards you. So we've triggered this batch now, maybe? That was a good hit. Another one down. So we have three hurlers. Let's just start dealing with these. Resisted, huh? Get those haste stacks back. How oh, interesting. The two applications act different um act differently. Hmm. Interesting, this warrior is the one who's using all of his energy. Not what I would have predicted. All of the stuns went off. Nice. Well, let's just do... Do another one. I'd say the hurlers are probably the most dangerous things here. Uh, the brawlers can be annoying. Yeah, because they can do that. And stunned. Wait, they knocked back to two of my characters? It's kind of silly. Should have took, taken a step forward. Someone blows an enormous horn. 
The echoes double and redouble the sound, making a din that is almost deafening. It is then joined by roars of fury and stampeding hooves rushing toward you. Your mother and sister made sure that you were trained to keep calm, even in the most extreme of circumstances. At last, into your deep shame, you failed to live up to their standard. Fear overwhelms you. Yep. Oh, and he got his action immediately. Of course he did. Remind, let's not be scared. I don't like being scared. Oh, he was already vulnerable. Oh well, now he's double, doubly vulnerable. We want to make sure we finish all of this off down here before we aggro stuff up top. Oh. Might not get a choice. Make sure everybody's nice and blessed. Considering doing a heal, because I do have people injured, but I think I'm going to do it with my priest. Because it's a smaller heal. There's the radiated one, that's the scary one. Now, I could start spamming skeletons. I don't think it's quite the time for that. Just trying to zone a little bit to make things awkward. Okay, if I go here, can I hit everybody? I can. You need to go down. We, oh shoot. We need to cancel everything in order to take the radiated, radiated mire board down before it gets an action, because it is dangerous. I think we got it. There we go. Yeah, Because that was really the only thing in this entire fight that was scary. Last time we did it. It was doing like 80 damage in a single attack. Ah, these stuns. Annoying. Okay. 
I'm going to hit you with as many status effects as we can. So the last time I did this fight... I had no plan at all. This time... Uh, and, I, and I almost won last time anyway. Like, Gwash Throw was... Um, just down to a sliver of health when he took out my last character. This time, unless something else happens here, this fight was trivial. And it's amazing what having a plan and knowing what you're up against, how much of a difference information can make. And to be fair, I am significantly... Uh, significantly higher upgraded than it was last time, in terms of armor. He didn't even do any damage to me. The British enormous leader of the Meyer Bar... Uh, the Meyer Boars has been slain. His huge wooden horn shatters when he falls to the ground. The strength of his boar pack has been broken. The foundry has been reclaimed. The family upstairs is sure to want to know about it. Alright, experience for me. Four energy, that's a lot of boars. Wood, iron, two resources I desperately need. Money, money, money. I did not really need any of that. Plus one to Poison Rain. That's a wizard spell, isn't it, that I never use? Yeah. I mean, she might get to a level at some point where I'd really want to do this, but I highly doubt it. I'll hold on to it. I can pawn it off on one of my minions, if nothing else. Right. I killed the mire boars in your forge. You tell uh, Borlewin the tale. Her entire family listens with rapt attention. She says, We are grateful to you, Havenite. You must give your reward. The reward is appreciated. Uh, and part of that is respect for their culture as well, because they don't want to feel indebted to me. So if they pay me something, then. It frees them of that sense of uh, whatever whatever you'd call that uh, obligation, I guess. Of course, we'll make sure to send iron to your Havenite forts. We must show that the Ukadesh can be grateful, whatever you think of us. I want to buy some iron. We're just going to buy all of this. Nice. Oh, we get wood out of that, too. That is helpful, because... Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, because we were running a little bit low on wood. Fifteen books over. Okay, incomes are all positive. Yeah, see, this wood was in a really bad spot. With the uh, the plus two on the, uh, the iron, though, that's really nice. So everything with a six is in exists in every single shop I have. Oh, barracks is the one that increases damage, not sympathy, and I didn't get that here. All right, so it's because I have six forts and they all have these structures. They all have every structure. So this is the only fort I have that doesn't. This is going to be an even number. So it would be plus one damage if I built it. 
These unfortunately require tons of wood upkeep. I would like them, but I just can't afford the wood upkeep. This is just this is just extra money. Oh, we'll get a barracks. Um, we should also reduce all the wood. All the wood's being spent. I reduce this crime, right? Plus one damage. And reduces theft of your resources in this region. Yeah, very important. Okay, with that done... Where do we go from here? We did agree to meet with the Borgen. Got a bunch of other stuff that we can do. Kind of want to clear out uh, this corner first for some reason. Um, it's the Havenland here, right? Might be the stuff that in theory belongs to us by treaty. A cache of stone has been left out here right by the docks. Chief is neglected to have it carried into your fort. You make a note to make sure this is done. Oh, okay, cool. Find a few crates of supplies left by human ships. Among the mundane equipment, you find a flask of quicksilver. Alright. Special resources. From a region other than ours. Outside Fort Darkfen. Um, outside of the, the UCAT, where we get the, the metal. Uh, outside Fort Darkfen, you find a huge canvas tent. A, great, a giant sign in front reads, Haven's Way Recruitment Center. A short line of dirty, surly Uktish warriors, swamp runners, and general miscreants wait their turn to go inside the tent. Cut to the front of the line and go inside. Well, that's rude. I don't have any other choice. I can't even back out. Once inside, you're greeted by a fit older woman. She wears the crispy, clean uh, uniform of a sergeant of Haven. The baton is tucked under her arm. She stares at a line of three Ukadish warriors, the smallest of which is twice her size. At your entry, two of them turn about confused. The third remains silent and still. With her baton, she taps the chest of the, chill one, of the still one. You'll do. The rest out. She pivots to stand at attention and clicks her heels together sharply. The lone remaining Ukat warrior imitates her. Sergeant Major Roberta Draper. Draper? Retired. Haven's Way agent for the Ukat region. How may I serve, my prince? What's the retired sergeant doing here? She clicks her heels again. I'm too old for the army and too young to enjoy retirement. Haven's Way hired me to select army recruits. Why are Ukatish warriors waiting outside? She snaps her heels together before answering. They are waiting to be evaluated for recruitment by the Haven army, my prince. How does the Haven army know which ones you recommend? You recommended. She turns to the swamp runner. What did I tell you happens if you lie about my evaluations? Stabbing, here crisply replies. She turns to you and smiles. See? It's a remarkably accurate system. Why would Nukat warrior want to join our army? She snaps her heels together. It is most likely our providing of fine food, equipment, and the best military training in the known world. There's also curiosity. Some want to see the world beyond the Ukat. Or boredom. There's no bad reason, my prince, as long as they do their duty to Haven. What are you looking for in a recruit? Strength of spirit and dutiful obedience. What's the Haven's way? The Haven's way society represents the Haven ideal. She doesn't elaborate further when you ask what that ideal is. I recruit locals on behalf of the Haven army. For every adequate recruit I find, I earn a small commission for myself. How many of those you recommend are actually accepted by our army? All of them. I have never failed. Is it really that important to get vassals to fight for us? Haven is a small nation. We don't have enough warriors to make a whole, the whole world submit. Only recruiting warriors from our vassals enables us to prevail. I'll be going at ease. It was the greatest honor to be visited by you, my prince. The sergeant major returns to evaluating and shouting at recruits. Haven's way of recruitment. Okay, cool. Uh, right. You have the displeasure of meeting more warriors of the, of the Gannel clan. They're angrily watching Fort Darkfen from this tower. Your leader wears a sash of green and black stripes. He walks forward and sneers. Hope you Havenites are enjoying Gannel lands. Uh, this plot belongs to Haven by treaty. We have the Gannel do not recognize that treaty, and we never will. You're watching my fort. Yes, Haven wants to control everything. We've already done this. Uh, uh, leave or I'll drive you out. The Gannel look at each other nervously. They are trying to decide whether spying on your camp is worth this level of risk. Then one of the archers shouts, Curse you, Havenite! I have a cousin at Gannelspan. You killed her! And he shoots an arrow at you. Things escalate pretty quickly after that. Alright. 
Blood takers, huh? Runner. Shaman. Okay. Up against humanoid opponents, there's not really any easy way to judge how tough they're going to be. So I'm going to take this seriously. That doesn't seem to be too bad so far, though. Yeah, the mind affecting stuff just seems. Here is this the spot? Seems of questionable utility. I couldn't hit him. Took out half of the shaman in one hit, though. Nice. I no longer feel like I have to take this fight at all seriously. Oh, not quite. Ah, oh, he's bleeding though. That might be enough. Yep. He searched the gun on Gammond. There are a few coins and some inferior equipment. They were just placed here to spy and provide a minor provocation. Nobody expected it to end this way. Alright, well, we gained the money. Cleared them out. Grab ourselves a heal. Now let's actually go in the direction I said I was going to go. What are you guys doing? Some of the guards are still waiting outside, watching for Rikish raiders and clearing the camp of pests. The real action is, of course, happening inside the fort. Alright. Up we go. Now we're entering Uktish lands. The northern Nukat is far more settled than the south, but this region is still mostly forest. It's icy cold. When you leave the gravel path, the frozen mud crunches under your feet and makes every step an effort. You constantly see creatures watching you from the undergrowth. You catch a flash of eyes, and then they are gone. You've discovered the Merkala Mines. Alright, well, that is the place we were sent to clear. Hello, people. Who are you? We meet a patrol of Haven soldiers. Marching up and down this narrow gravel walkway, they kneel when you approach. One of them says, Greeting, Prince. We hope you are well. Now, anything interesting nearby? There's no... An old peat bog near here, it's called Merkala. We think that it belongs to Haven, but the chief told us to stay away. We'd ask locals about it, but they don't care for us, except for the Brock. They're peaceful, but they keep their distance. Why are you here? Chief Torvik sent us up from Port Darkfan to scout. He is afraid that the creatures in these woods might come south and grab a worker or two. What sort of creatures? We've seen some snakes. Big, big snakes. And we bet there's worse out there. Any reports? We've seen lots of snakes. Also, we think we saw some brigands. Tell me about them. We didn't see much. These Ukat are hard to see in these swamps. They can move through the muck like you wouldn't believe. We were afraid they might be Ganals. Ganals? No, the Ganal clan is south of Fort Darkfen. They really hate us. Chief Torvik told us to watch out for them. Move on, of course. Thank you, Prince. Alright, let's just try to get this done here. Merkala. Here are the outskirts of Merkala. It is a broad, murky fen. You can see the signs that it is a source of bog iron. Little nodules of metal from under the muck as the year form under the muck as the years pass. Then it can be gathered. Now it is abandoned. Nobody is visible through the thick mist. Something is off in the air. You're reminded of the south southern Nukat, where shadows always followed you through the mist. There is magic here. Merkala, territory of Haven. All right, so we've got another one of these swamp linear swamp mazes with a bunch of uh, shades, possibly. Building we can enter, or we can continue on. Let's uh, check out the building. Hello, Shaman Regala. There's Nukadish Shaman in these rough barracks. He's alone out here, which seems dangerous. He grins when he sees you. Company, at last. I don't know you. I am Shaman Regala. I haven't met any of my fellows of the Brock clan in a while. Greetings. 
Yes, it is not fighting. Oh, I guess I could have told him it wasn't for the Brock Clan. Oh well, I just kind of grabbed the first thing. Uh, yes, it is not frightening to be out here alone. The water and the swamps are friends of me. I still tire of the solitude. I am preparing this fen. Feel free to look around. Tell me about this place. The fen is used for the harvesting of iron, fine Ukutish iron. It grows in little nodules under the muck. I was sent to prepare because return his speech is odd and halting. It's as if his mouth is just not saying certain words. Uh, I'll just look around. Of course. Enjoy the beauty of the swamp. It is perfectly safe here. Uh-huh. I'm not from the Brock clan. He said tilts to one side. Yes, you are from the Brock clan. He heard something different from what you said. I tire of the solitude. I'm preparing this uh, fen. Feel free to look around. You're seeing illusions. I'm so happy to hear it. You heard something different from what you said. Just go wander around. It is perfectly safe. All right. Oh. What could go wrong? It is perfectly safe, after all. Uh, great serpents. Okay. A few of them. Activate the blessing. You just got two turns in a row. I was not expecting that for some reason. Even though it happens frequently. Uh, right, you guys have that kind of ability. Also, way too much evasion for my taste. Keep an eye on my health so that I don't... Get myself into too dangerous territory here, especially when I'm taking poison damage. And there goes the double poison. Okay, time to heal. dead end with a building that we can investigate. Two more serpents, huh? You blink as you look around the hall. It's enormous, beautiful, far, far larger than the log shack outside. There is magic here all around you. This majestic hall is worthy of a king, but is serving as a home for a nest of snakes. Human bones litter the floor. Shaman shade. Yeah, okay, here we go. Ah, AoE, that's right. Time to retreat with the casters. It's 
stun and slow resist. Spreading out so that hopefully the AoE doesn't hurt us as badly. Put Fennec here to kind of zone this enemy so it can't whoops get to me, and then I messed up because I didn't realize I had Fennec selected. Well. That poison is basically done. Alright, that heals poison now. Let's have the upgraded one. Take the coins. Alright, well we killed the shade. Probably gonna trigger... yep. Triggered a backpack, uh, backtracking path here too. Uh, you walk away from the wooden shack and something's different. You look back, everything seems the same, but it's different somehow. Yeah, we can go through this way now. I can still go around this way too if we want to. So we thought we were done with these shifting tree mazes in the aerial woods, but now it's time for the shifting swamp maze in the Yukat. Spitting serpent. King Cobra, that's new. I didn't like how injured I was. Not that I was particularly injured, I was just, I didn't like the fact that I had damage on a bunch of my characters. I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen with it. Another big one there? Yep. Yeah. Fortunately, this is not undead. Shots alarm. Okay, that's fine. Looks good to me. Pick out the little ones so that hopefully we have fewer attacks coming in. Not that the King Cobra seems all that terrible, but it does have more health for sure. Blind, that's new. I might have seen this before. Um, I don't recognize it though. 40% penalty to hit with physical and magical effects. Multiple applications dramatically increase the penalty. Okay, it is a curable effect though. Oh, Swaying Serpent. Oh, that's uh, that's actually really bad. That thing can charm. I remember. I remember how that goes. Through six turns of negative effects. Oh. Is 
So that's six turns divided among all the uh, status you have, and not six on each of them. Because that was how I had interpreted it, but I guess not. Trying to get a little bit of distance in case it doesn't uh, the radial area, uh, AOE, but... There we go. Yeah, Jar of Vapor is much less effective than I had hoped, I have to say. I'm holding those for forever, and this is the first time I actually remembered to use it in a situation that kind of made sense. I think the heal the Restoration Potion kind of obsoletes it. Yeah, cure 14 turns of negative effects on yourself as opposed to 6 turns on everybody. I, I almost always just want the Summit Warriors. Who are the ones who have the healing potions anyway? Range, huh? Naga. Okay, that's what I was expecting. Knew it was going to be here eventually. Okay, I missed the skeleton, but I did hit the construct. We got these spitting serpents first. Should be the fastest. Not too worried about the Naga. Maybe I should be. Don't really remember what it can do. But it is a caster, which always makes it a little bit worrisome. Skeleton has failed. Doesn't matter, Naga's down. Okay, that one's done. Yep. Yeah. Summons always go down super fast. I'm a little bit injured. A uh, handful of coins. Swamp will have shifted again. Yep, this path is now open, and this path is open. Uh, oh, I can go around that way too if I want to. Looks like, could I always go around that way? I don't know. Doesn't really matter either way, I don't think. Serpent Illusion. Yeah, Illusions take... Big Cats.
Always go for the color swap, the palette swap first. Just in case. Okay, well that wasn't too hard. Oh, I guess I haven't been in that building yet. That's why this path being there makes sense. Okay, so this is just an optional fight then for uh, for whatever was in this jar. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Also, I think I was enough kills to get an energy. I didn't see if that happened or not, but wouldn't surprise me. All right. Ah, of course we're not done. Got one more to go. Where we go in and come out, maybe? I guess these these could clear out. Well, we have another fight. Eh, this is looking familiar. Can I just ignore the fight? Take the chest. Thanks for the money. Um, something's gonna happen though. Elder Naga, okay. A bunch of skeletons are about to pop up. Your Norse Naga looms over you. As it looks down at you, your brain feels numb. You sense that it is the source of the illusions that permeate the swamp. As it looks at you, its eyes gleam. You have to fight the compulsion to stare into them. It tries to meet your gaze. You look away. The Naga lets out an angry hiss. Moments later, the hell fills with illusions. Uh, okay. Uh, taking this seriously. Oh, there's a shaman. Good to know. Uh, a couple shamans. This is not great, I have to say. Okay, good. Everything feels a lot better now. Probably going to have more illusions appear at some point. Or our plants cause bleeding. Okay, we're going to try something a little bit risky. Because if that works, then it prevents him from summoning another minion, because his minion's still technically in play. Okay. 
And we hit it with stuff, resist certain things, but... Fine, just kill that. Uh, you are still vulnerable. Let's try this again. Oh, weakness stuck this time. Excellent. This is not going to work. I'll try it anyway. I might want to start thinking about healing my main character. If he takes... Well, I'll just do the potion then. This thing has so much health. I'm also expecting a second round of um, illusions at some point. Ooh, scary. Let's not be scared. I don't like being scared. I mean, if this thing has this much health, but there's no more second phase to it, then this boss is just a massive damage sponge for no real reason. Which is starting to look like the case. Especially if it's going to spend its turn curing itself. Oh, cure and summon, that's fine. We go. The Naga collapses, finally dead. The illusions fade away. The glorious hall around you begins to shimmer and fade. Soon it will be gone, replaced by some ugly shed. Alright, well, that's that. So I'm thinking about it. It's kind of an interesting choice to have skeletons and constructs as the two summons. I got the paths cleared as expected. Like, having it so Haven's primary summon spells a skeleton is kind of an interesting choice. I don't know, I just... I find it interesting. Alright, well, this last shed, let's see what's inside. Strangely, one of the Naga's illusionary halls is still here. You struggle to see through the illusion. Your will is strong enough, but a moment later, you wish it wasn't. The illusion was hiding a ring of serpents. They are all around you, staring at you hungrily. Hidden Prince. Oh. This looks like... some sort of challenge bonus boss. I might die here. We are way too clumped up. Everybody. Skeletons doing their jobs. Arm. OK. 
Okay, that was nice. Definitely benefiting from poison immunity quite a bit here. Six, seven, seven. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have that skill anymore. Good to know. So I am at my maximum number of minions still. Uh, a turn of poison is fine. Kill this and then go for the hidden prince and try to keep our number of minions up at maximum the whole time. The skeletons being immune to poison is doing wonders for me. Okay, well. Okay, that was your skeleton. Well, charm worked this time. Four turns, wow. Free mind. Are you in range? Can't reach target. Okay, we're just going to attack. Okay, constructs down. Well, we know what to do about that. You know what, let's just do it. Oh, you're out of potions. That's uh, slightly unfortunate. Weakness landed, good. Everybody's poisoned. Still has a 50% damage bonus, even if everything else doesn't work. Cured, but not fully cured. Okay. Still have both of our skeletons up. There it goes. Is the other warrior's skeleton? Uh, okay, now we're gonna. Save our Haven's Blessing. I did not need that right now. I have to do this.
Man, all these evasions are killing me. Okay, it was not the right time to move there, apparently. That's our last big heal. Good, everybody resisted the fear. At this point, I'm kind of out of tricks. I'm just hoping that the RNG is favorable at this point. Ah, uh, that's fine. Come on. There we go. That's fine. Hey, chest's available. Kill the summon now because the summoner's dead. So it looks like we managed to survive. Oh. Might not even lose anybody, although things are starting to look a little bit bad. We'll have all our potions on that character. Uh, everybody's poisoned again. Everybody's poisoned again. Ooh. Just one left. Triple poison, of course. That's good. Everybody up nice and close to take a whole bunch of damage all at once. How about we not get incredibly sloppy at the very end of this? 
pillar there. That should block it into place. Alright. What was my reward for that? Scroll of Calling. Well, I can sell that. Draconic Orb. It's not even as good as the thing I have, of course. Uh, it is, in fact, a strictly inferior version of what I have, it looks like. Because it's one less physical, two less magical damage reduction, but all the other stats appear to be identical. Oh, well, it'll be money. It'll be money. Let's see how our shaman buddy's doing in here. Now uh, these barracks are used by workers when they come to dig out the bog iron. Then they are le then they were left to rot. As he talks to you, Regala struggles to keep them livable. I've cleared some nagas out of the swamp. He is quiet. He turns away from you, lost in thought. Then he turns back. I was caught. It was a moment of weakness, and a naga took me. He sees the insignia on your chest. So Haven has returned, and you saved me. Thank you. I I was sent to clear the swamp for its owners. Who owns the swamp? You do. I mean, Haven does. My acting clan leader, Bracton Carr, sent me here to clear it out. I failed, but you came to recover what is yours. Thank you. Uh, what happened to you? Bracton Carr sent me to reclaim the swamp. I have been here for two weeks. It was killing pests and restoring the path. Why did Bracton send you? I think he wanted to offer it to you as a bribe. The clan realized Haven was coming back years ago. They have been preparing to buy your strength. I knew this years ago. Odd. Very odd. What happened then? One morning, I left this room, and snakes were everywhere. Then one of them looked at me. It had a human face. Then... That's all I remember. What will you do now? I will stay here and keep this bog secure. Bracton Carr gave me this task. I will continue it, for the good of the clan. We're going to start working the swamp for iron. We expected this. Send workers. I will keep them safe. The Naga might always return. Sure. Cool. Uh, getting close to another level, I guess. So, with the Ashton Foundry, it's one wood, one iron, and the Mercala Mines, one wood, one, one iron. Uh, Torx advice, uh, I'm over an hour, I don't like being much over an hour, but let's just finish up this quest. Get the next one, so the next time we can just start by running into some new area right away. I'll discuss this fort. I've reclaimed Mercala. You report the situation there. Excellent. I sent guards and workers immediately. Iron is already arriving. I desire more resources. Understandable. When war comes, no amount is enough. He takes a scroll from his desk. We received a letter from... He looks closer. The Ashen Foundry. Yes. Apparently, it is not far to the east. A Brock settlement. They were offering us payment for help. What else do you know about this? Nothing, really. My scouts say it's a foundry. Uh, circled by a palisade. I don't know what is happening inside. Yeah, well, we already did that, too. That was the other thing we did today. You helped out the Ashen Foundry. You tell him the tale. You thought that such an exploit would get some emotional reaction. Nothing. The Brock are true to their word. They aren't polite when they pay their debts, but they pay. You're getting more iron and quality stuff as well. I want even more resources. The chief shuffles through his papers and shakes his head. We don't want to steal any Brock land, I'm afraid. I don't know where to take more easy iron. However, our scouts have seen something odd in Mercala. A strange figure wandering around in those marches. It might be worth, worth stopping by again. Another question. Oh, okay. So, back to Mercala next time? Or is that strange figure the, uh... Prince's thing. The prince's, um... No, the, the hidden prince that I took out. I don't know. Um, but we will, uh, investigate that again next time. I will see you then.